So I had a problem with my Predator 3500 inverter generator. Fortunately, it wasn't that cold at night. Uh, I mean, we needed it to uh, run our our electric heater in our RV because our gas heater had already uh, said, I'm not gonna work anymore. I found the part I needed on uh, Amazon. I think it was like 20 bucks at the time. This video is all about uh, taking that part out and putting it back in. Now, overall, it was a piece of cake. Uh, even if you don't have any type of skill as far as fixing things, uh, this should be easily doable. And uh, the thing runs like a charm now. Now I know next time it does it, hopefully not. I'll know what uh, needs to be replaced if it just suddenly stops working and then won't start up. That was the key to it. It just stopped and I couldn't get it lit off again. So first I used a brick to lift up the side with a pull start on it. Once I got that on, I started taking off the hubs of the wheels. Underneath that you'll find a cotter key and a washer holding the wheels on. On the end uh, that has the wheel lock, you'll also uh, have a metal piece behind the wheel that is used to lock the hub, keep the little generator from rolling. Next I took the little caps off the top screws on that same side, took them out, took this one screw out here, and then removed these three screws on the back end where the muffler is and the three on the bottom portion of that same side where the pull handle is. You should then be able to pull the cover off and uh, kind of move it out of the way. It'll be attached to the pull handle so you won't be able to get it completely off. So then we'll identify the part we're taking off and follow all the wires coming to it and out of it. Disconnect that one. Follow these wires to where they go and there'll be a couple more connections that you'll have to disconnect. Uh, these little brackets here hold the wires so they don't move around inside. You just unscrew them. I'll show you later how to get the little uh, snaps off so we can redo those or reuse them actually. So here's the uh, little thing, that little piece down in there, just take something like a knife or a screwdriver flathead and push that down and those things pop right off and you can reuse them again. So the ignition igniter module only has two screws holding it in. Once you get out of the uh, wires disconnected and everything, take it out, match it up with the part you got in the mail and reinstall reverse order much faster going back in than when you pull it out of course so once you verify you got it all put back together take the cover and place it back over don't secure any screws yet uh, you just need it back over so you can make sure it starts so I uh, tried starting it with the electric start first and I tried it a couple of times and realized that I'm going to have to do a good old fashioned pull start on it to get it going. Uh, two pull starts and it started going good. So once you verify it's going to start up on you, everything's put together inside. Just start putting everything back together on the outside, all the little screws, reverse order. Just making sure that the cover is all secured down. Throw the wheels back on. All done. Pull the brick and off you go. Make sure you check around for any spare parts laying around. I've got a couple caps. Thanks for watching.